Welcome to this week's edition of the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report, sponsored in part by Sunbelt Network, the place to go buy or sell a business, Shatter IT, and other successful business partners. If you're interested in hearing about the current employment environment, either as a job seeker or employer, have a job-related question, or simply growing your business, stay tuned and join the discussion at 803-1520. And now, here's Dale and Andrea. Good morning, Buffalo. Welcome to the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report with the always wonderful Andrea Tadaro in studio with me. Andrea, how are you this morning? I'm doing great, Dale. Thanks so much for asking. It's a phenomenal day in Western New York. Gorgeous weather. I've been having a great weekend. Uh, just saw the Guess Who in concert last night, so it was really phenomenal. And what about yourself? Well, I've had a tremendous week. I mean, just coming off the 4th of July holiday has really been relaxing, but very impactful. Mm -hmm. Had an opportunity to spend some time with some family members, do some light traveling, mm -hmm. and really kind of see what's going on in other markets with the hopes of bringing some new creative ideas here to Western New York. So yes. I'm just very excited. About Absolutely. That. That's what it's all about, extracting ideas from elsewhere and putting them here yes. in Western New York to create economic development, which is really on the rise, actually, Dale. I'm so excited with seeing what's going on right now. Absolutely. And without further ado, we have some amazing guests today yes. in the studio with us. We are so excited to introduce. Yeah, but this is so much like deja vu because I know. I've been waiting for this opportunity for, for such a long time, and I'm so happy that this day is, is here. And to our listeners, out there, we want you to join the conversation. You're listening to the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report with Andrea Tadaro. The telephone number is 803-1520, and we want to hear from you. We want to we want to take your questions, and we want you to really have a have an opportunity to talk to this national career coach. This is a woman who I've had the the opportunity to work with. I, I often refer to her as my mentor. And I'm just so ecstatic that she's joining our show today. Yes. And like you said, without further ado, let's welcome Joan Gracie. In fact, this is the Joan Gracie show today. Yes, a dedication absolutely. To Joan. The Joan Gracie show. Yes. <laughs> Phenomenal. Thank you, Thank you so very excited. much. This is, this is nice to be back in our in our seat again. I'm Joan Gracie, and uh, I have my counterpart, Jean Filippiak, with me. Good so, morning, everybody. Yes, yeah, so she's sitting to the right hand. Of, so it's great the to right see hand. you again. So thank you, you guys. Thank you so much for inviting us. We have a lot of uh, cool things that have been happening to us also, so we're really uh, excited to chat about them. Yeah, Fantastic. we can't wait yes. to hear all. <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah, and that's how we met as well, Dale. That so it's great to come full circle again. It really feels like a phenomenal reunion. <laughs> it, it, it really does. And I love it. It really speaks to how collaboration really works in Western New York. I mean, often we talk about it, but very few times do we demonstrate it. And exactly. I think what we have in a room is, a, is an example of true demonstration of collaboration and if you know what I'm referring to uh, with our listeners uh, as you've often heard me say you know I've worked in a staffing professional uh, profession for a number of years but what you haven't heard me uh, mention is where I obtain my knowledge base from and it started with Joan Gracie and Jean Filippiak they brought me on board uh, at APA Solutions and they really uh, gave me the tools and the knowledge base to propel me to new levels. And, you know, Joan, I've often said time and time again, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be where I am today. And so on the air... And that's I, a good thing, right? That's a good, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing. Depends on who you yes. to, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, we can always make Dale blush. <laughs> we can. <laughs> exactly right. I appreciate it. Easy to that. make blush. <laughs> That's great. So, uh, w without you know, you know, taking too much time here, kind of you know, Joan, share with us a little bit about you know what th what things are going in terms of yourself. And I know you've always often had a number of books in place and number of projects. So, kind of share with our listeners anything and everything about APA today and where you're driving. Uh, the staffing and, and the national coaching platform too. Okay, I, I I always say to the um, wonderful woman women that I that I work with, you always have to go back before you can go forward. So let me let me spend a little bit of time going back. You know, just real briefly, I, I was downsized from a position before the word was even invented. You know, so I was I was literally in a role that I loved and and wandered into an employment agency with the hopes that the gentleman that I spoke to was going to be somehow the answer to what it, I was looking to do with my life. And obviously, he couldn't answer those questions then. 
nor could he obviously answer those questions today. And that that experience of, of being thrown out into the job search process really has given me an opportunity to understand what, what that feels like. So when I decided to go into the employment agency world because this gentleman offered me a position, it, it really, really stuck with me about what it what it felt to be like in that space. And I think a lot of people who haven't experienced that don't understand it. Mm-hmm. And so because of that, I've always taken a, a, a very strong candidate position. So when I joined the, the agency um, that I began with, and I worked with them for a couple of years, I, I knew that I really wanted to care about the involvement of people in their profession, et cetera, et cetera. And that particular agency that I work for wouldn't let me do that because it was more like that traditional, we got a job for you, here's your placement, here's the fee, don't call us, and we hope we don't have to honor the guarantee that we gave an employer. So when I transitioned to, to go to work with APA, and Pat and Dave Ryan hired me, which are two incredibly wonderful people. They just really let me go, and, and they allowed me to, to build an employment agency that represented growth-oriented companies, but the new growth-oriented companies. And in doing so, I would say about 2000, I started to see the difference between the knowledge level of what a candidate believed was happening out there and what an employer started to look for and at. And technology played a major, major contribution to that. And I I just really kind of ignored it because I owned an employment agency and my responsibility was to really find candidates for these growth-oriented companies. But it broke my heart when I started to represent one out of five candidates, then one out of 10, and one out of 15, and one out of 20, and one out of 25. And I was like, what do I do with all these great people that I physically don't have a job for today? But I think with some career coaching, utilizing the knowledge that employers have been so kind to share with me, I could help them find a position. I could help them find their purpose, which is a lot bigger than a job, That's really, really about the essence of who you are as a person. And I was really fortunate at this time of of reckoning that that I met Jean and and she came into my life and she very, very much was looking for a bigger place in, in her life and believed in the candidate cause. So it allowed us to really represent growth companies, but also use them to derive a knowledge that we could share with candidates. And we did that in the form of a brick and mortar career counseling company that we literally did nights, holidays, and weekends called Career Savers. And we started to put people through this this program that was a very structured, regimented, depending on it could be one-on-one training or a six-week training, to really bring them up to speed with the demands of what employers were thinking and feeling. While that them is is individuals going through this evolvement process of really understanding better who they were, that was always the missing piece. You know, we get so much, you know, information, career tips. You know, wear this. This is what your resume should look like. Create a brand. We have to look at the whole person and not just them in in these fragments. Subcomponents. Exactly. So what we really did is we started to address the whole person before we even formulated a resume, before we did anything. We literally dissected individuals starting by looking at them from the inside and then how they match to potential career options. And in going through that that journey has, has really given the candidates that we work with such power to understand that it's up to them to dictate their own future. It's up to them to build a business of, of you incorporated, if you will, that appeals to the hiring employers today. I think this is the first time in in America in the 28 years that I've been recruiting that I can honestly say, you know, you own it, you build it. And and it's tough to look in the mirror and say that it that it's up to you. And we've now taken our our career savers platform we've moved it online we've renamed the business career reform because it's really not about savings one's career any longer now it's really about completely and totally looking at your future and in a different way than you have in the past and we felt a word like reform was so strong that it really resonated with people and it applies to you know anybody from 16 to 61 
because that's who's utilized the the program that we've built and they've been successful with it and you know just really really continue this mission ac- across the country and having our career course online provides us that unique opportunity to do it. Wow, that yeah. is absolutely Incredible. revolutionary. So, Joan, you know, one thing that I was really noting from what you were saying is it almost is a fight, you know, uh, for one's career. It's really getting to stand up. And what I really love is the fact that you mentioned that you're dedicated to helping people of all ages, backgrounds, and experience levels make their career passion a reality. And I just think that is the most incredible thing. You, you use the words passion as opposed to just looking at the subcomponents. You're really looking at the entire person and getting them to really find themselves and pull out that passion again because sometimes we lose it we lose it when we go astray in the job market it's a daunting job market um, you know and it really is like a fight to find a good job and I just think that's what your your mission encompasses I love that yeah and, and honestly why we should be fighting okay yeah. because there's so many things that we think are out of our control you know politics you know we think are out of our control you know there's so many different things this is in our control and and we True. need to stop looking at the invisible hand of the economy me and saying, you know, this has something to do with that. We have to stop looking at our boss like they're our parent. No. You know, it's it's truly up to us and we we have to stop being put down. You know, uh, you know, Gene always oh. refers to the, you know, 99ers and that the 1% of the population, you know, is is really the the national wealth and and that's true. That's a fact. But but we can do something about it. Each and every one of us can do something about it. And how do we start? We are in a knowledge-based economy. And if you don't have a knowledge, if you don't have a specific expertise that you're building, you will be absolutely lost. To send our young people to IDK, I don't know university, Mm -hmm. has got to stop. A liberal arts degree. (laughs) It has got to stop. I mean, we liken that to a basket weaving occupation, that we are not building a specialty. We are not building a knowledge base. And, and, you know, that's why we we say reform, because it really is like a slap in the face. I mean, healthcare reform is so controversial. And what we say is, let's make this controversial. Let's throw out all the tips that you're getting and come back to our essence and say, you know, what do I have to do to promote promote myself. And whether you have a high school education or a PhD, you can do it. That's what's great about it. We've helped a myriad of individuals. This has nothing to do with your educational level and everything to do with your knowledge base. If you're a great mechanic, well, guess what? You could be an airplane mechanic. You know, if you want to be in medical from a high school to a PhD, there's a job for you. Mm-hmm. But you need to get out there and get the information. You need to test and learn and figure out what it is your purpose is in this world and, and stop, you know, sitting back thinking that somebody's going to come to you. And they have to start thinking this way, <clears throat> excuse me, because our employer base, the companies that we represent that are growth oriented, that have opportunities that they can't find people for. So you see uh, an employer base who's very frustrated because they can't find top talent. There's a shortage out there. Exactly. And it, Once individuals really reframe their mentality and really brand themselves and really understand the side of the employer, these two entities can start understanding each other again. I was just speaking, I have an opportunity for welders, and that is a very strong trade, but I had two welders who got downsized a, a year and a half ago, and they couldn't recover from that. Just the simple fact that they thought they were doing everything right, but the company made a business decision to stay in business in some way, shape, or form. And as a result, these two individuals were downsized, two separate companies, and the shock and awe that happened from that downsizing left them paralyzed of not knowing how to look for that other job next and or trusting another employer that it's not going to happen again. So sometimes people are paralyzed and they don't know what to do. So unfortunately, they don't do or they find other types of income to fuel their passion because they're afraid. And I think when companies have to make business decisions, they change, they've evolved, they have a technology to help them do that. Candidates today have to also change, also evolve, also understand in order to find the right fit for themselves. So when these welders came in, they spent X amount of times with our career reform, pro- career reform program, and it's just that newfound knowledge, knowledge to help them really gain insight, like, oh, my God, I know what I'm doing wrong. I know the resumes that are completely not working today. Yes. And that whole full circle of, of awareness 
is needed today. But I and think, I think that's the fight that I bring and, and our agency continues to bring is like there is a fight. But but again, we're, we're t- you know, you're 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 you have to connect with the most important component and that's control. Who's got control over your future? And, and you talk you about these welders. And, and the fact of the matter is, is when you're paralyzed, you're giving the control to somebody else. Exactly. Okay. Whether it's this past employer, whether it's the economy, whether it's, you know, the job boards, whoever yeah. it is, you can't control what an employer does. You can't control what President Obama does. You can't control that. The only thing you can control is yourself. There has How to be freeing personal is accountability. that? Mm-hmm. How freeing yeah. is that? Yeah. So as you're looking and you say, you know what, just like I'm in business and I own APA and there's there's people that work with me and then there's people people that don't or whatever the case may be. But what do I do? I could certainly paralyze my business and say, well, we're not a best match for that company that we're representing any longer. I could say, you know, that's great. It's been fun. And now we move on. And it's the same, you know, what I'm doing with my own business model and my own career. I'm really passionate about the candidate side of the business. Mm -hmm. So I'm moving my act to through my book, which is going to be published for for back to school through my from through my career counseling course you know, to that. So I think the first thing that we have to say to people is what's great about this is your future is your responsibility. Yes. Okay. You need to take back the control. You need to reform your thinking. You need to reteach your brain because your brain loves knowing what's coming around the corner. And when you don't have work that next day, it scares the heck out of your brain. It's normal. All right. Mm -hmm. But if you start telling yourself, look at it's okay, I have this skill and let me go out and test and learn what it's about in the marketplace today. And you shouldn't wait till you're unemployed to do that. Don't wait until the car crash. Don't wait. Mm -hmm. All right. As a business owner, you always have to be looking about what comes around the corner. So I think that's it. You know, to Jean's point, you know, these people were so ingrained to a traditional way of thinking that when their job went away, They took responsibility saying, well, I must have done something wrong. Instead of saying the employer made a business decision, they maybe didn't run their business as well as they should. So I'm going to partner with somebody who does. Mm -hmm. But it's having that confidence Mm -hmm. to believe that. And and Joan, I'm so happy to hear you say that because uh, at the beginning of the show, and I wrote this down, and I wrote down the disconnect. And there's always been that disconnect there between what the employer thinks versus what the employee thinks. And now it appears that you're taking that and you have applied a new model to address that disconnect between the two. And with the focus being on the individual, the candidate, he or she that comes into your office and goes through through your program on the end are going to walk out a much stronger, more confident, and an individual who has more awareness I think we often refer to it as interpersonal skills of who they are and what direction they should be seeking going forward. Now, I want to, Jean, I want to bring you into this conversation because let's make sure that we share with our listeners how to get in contact with, with you so that they can get involved with your online program. Absolutely. It's, um, you can go to our new launched website called careerreform.com. Um, all the contact information is there, or else you can call us at our local office, which is um, APA Solutions and Career Reform at 6480 Main Street, um, Suite 4 in Williamsville, New York, 14221. Or our phone number is um, 716-626-0070, or the toll-free number is one 800 Two three zero nine six five one. But once again, all the information, our online course, our career appraisal, um, when you're looking at, um, we have a special offer going right now for the first 200 individuals who take a look at our website, give us your expertise of, of what you think of the website, number one, join us on Facebook, APA Solutions and Career Reform, and give us your comments because career reform was totally built for the candidate. That it is really driven for where the candidate advocate and that resource is for individuals, young or old, to be able to go there and find the answers and to be able to click Joan and where it says ask Joan and, and type in your, your question of what's going on and then we're going to publicly address it to everybody so they can understand what's happening in the employment world. Yeah, yeah I fantastic. mean this this whole, you know, I'm going to school and I'm getting out of school with $73,000 in debt and I have a degree in history I know. or what whatever the case may be. I mean for parents, I mean this yeah. this madness has is, is got to stop. It's got to be mean, proactive. I mean, I mean you really do and it's got to it's start in high school 
school, and if it hasn't start, started in high school and, and you have a person in college, they, they have to be getting out there and, and getting as much real work experience as they potentially can because so many of our employers are so disenchanted with, you know, the kids graduating with information technology degrees or, or whatever because their practical knowledge has not been kept up to date exactly. because the world is moving so quickly. Shifting. You know, small business is moving America today, and you need a very, very specific skill set. It's not General Electric. You know, it's not the large companies that it was yesterday. And and we need to be prepared to work in small business America. And unfortunately, a lot of the college and universities have, have not kept pace with the business demand. I see that all the time with the candidate pool that I work with. It's unbelievable. They're so outmoded quite often, and they haven't gotten an internship. They haven't gotten the practical experience. They just have the head knowledge, and then where do they take it? And they're balked and frustrated in their job search. How do you address someone that has to come at it from the back end like that and has to sort of make up for the lost time? How does that work? I, I think the, the first thing that, that you have to come to terms with is that we have been so ingrained to believe a very, very structured ABC. This is how I look for a job. Mm-hmm. And what we're talking about at Career Reform is that that is throw it out. I mean, my, my book, which is called, you know, uh, No MBA, No More Bad Advice, takes the 10 pieces of bad advice that you've been taught since you were a wee one throws it on its ear and says, that was great back in the day. It so doesn't pertain today, mm-hmm. all right? And so when you, when you look at where we are, the first thing that you have to come to the reality of is that the structure of what you're supposed to do, high school to college and then job, does not work any longer unless you have created a strong specialty and you've worked in such a way that relates to the employer. So what we always say to people is the first thing you have to do is admit you have a problem, like any self-help scenario is, admit what I'm doing isn't working, and then open up your mind to a new way of thinking because the job boards altogether are less than 10% successful. So if you're counting on going to the job boards for success, that makes it really difficult. The bulk of the opportunities today live in the underbelly. Yes. They're not advertised. They're very, very strong referral base. They're very strong Market. relationship or yeah. collaborative, what Dale alluded to in the beginning of our conversation. So, you know, how do you get there? How do you how do you find that? How do you create it? Well, it's a very, very different time. Which speaks to a new disconnect because what you're sharing in a, from a practical sense will prepare individuals for the real world. However, for the rest of their life. For the rest yeah. of their life. This yeah. isn't just like a job, a job search going. program. Yeah. I mean, this is reform. Look at your future differently. And we teach you about how to build your career in such a way that you go to grammar school and junior high and high school and college and look to evolve your career to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. Like any business model, you have to continue to look over the ridge and change and grow. It's the same thing. So it's a way of life. Yes, but how do you bring academia into that to that solution? Because what the students and individuals are learning in the classroom is a complete opposite of what you are preparing them for. Yeah, and what we're doing right now is we actually have a student who's working for us, who's transferring our online core, course excuse me, to the university and high school sector. Great. So we hired somebody right in college to take a look at the course and say, okay, we want to be on a per-student basis be selling this online mechanism to the high schools, to the colleges, to the universities, where we have a lot of young people in high school said, well, you know, I took this assessment, but the guidance counselor or the teacher didn't know a lot about what it meant. We're going to have a full-scale program Mm -hmm. around that. So you'll take the assessment, and this is what all of it means. So like even from your application, to have this per-student um, opportunity, that, that's what we're doing. So that's how we're hoping to collaborate, by giving them something very, very tangible to administer. Jean taught at the university level this year, and it was just a further reaffirmation <laughs> for uh-huh. our kids. Jean, you no continue clue. to evolve as well. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it's all yeah. about. Titles yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. Well, you're listening to the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report, uh, also known as for today, the Joan Gracie Show. Yes. We're going to take a quick <laughs> one minute break. We're going to uh, talk to our listeners on the other side. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about that Ask Joan. Yeah. 
So think about it. What's your outlet? How do you let go? I like to garden, vegetables, flowers, you name it. I like to read, work out, and I love wine. Even better, I love to sip wine as I sit and enjoy my garden. And if you love wine, I have just the place for you. Outlet Liquor, yep, just like the outlet malls. Outlet Liquor has all the big names like Robert Mondavi to everyday wines like Relax and Yellowtail. All at outlet prices. Name brand wine at outlet prices. I'm in. Go see for yourself. It's right on George Urban near Dick and just minutes from the Walden Galleria. Plenty of parking, friendly people working there who can help you pick out wine for you, a friend, or even non-wine drinkers. There's a full range of spirits like rum, vodka, tequila, scotch, even champagne. Summer's coming. Think margaritas, pina coladas, mojitos, no matter what your taste. You'll find what you're looking for at Outlet Liquor at Outlet Prices. New York's only Outlet Liquor. Outletliquor.com. So now I'll ask you again. What's your outlet? This is KB AM 1520. Welcome back to the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report with the wonderful Andrea Todaro in studio today here at KB 1520. A new choice, a new voice, and the telephone number again is 803-1520. There's been a lot of information that's been shared today, Andrea. We need more than one show to be able to encapsulate all this information. It's amazing. It really is. I'm learning an awful lot today. I think I'm going to hire Joan as a a professional coach, trainer for my business. Well, she's a national coach, yes. Yes, absolutely. Excited about some of the other things that are on the horizon that we've been talking about on the break time. So love to get to that. Yes. Well, before the break uh, or at the uh, closure, we were talking about Ask Joan, which is something that's on your website. But, Gene, I want to kind of come back to you because you share some information and I think it's important that we sh- we get that information out to our listeners once again. I, I think it's just exposure and how excited we are to have launched our-, our website to be able to hit the national platform. And it's actually careerreform.com. And on each homepage, um, you can see a little icon saying Ask Joan to allow anybody who is in a situation where they're looking for a job. We have three categories. We have Rethink. Um, which are young adults or anyone who's graduating from something. So graduating from high school, graduating from college, graduating from a trade school. Then we also have um, the individual who is the reinventors, who have been truly affected by the economy, who have been downsized, who have been right-sized, and really are looking to reinvent themselves to a higher plateau. And then we have our redefiners. Our redefiners are career enhancers, the individuals who love what they do, but now they just need to love it somewhere else or love it within their own organization and really learn the art of asking for that promotion or asking for that next step or maybe looking to redefine themselves in another type of industry and and, in a different sector. So we hit all three individuals and each individual, a reinvent, a rethink, a redefine, have an opportunity to take our online course at a a considerable um, offer that we're extending for for the first 200 individuals that look at our website, give us their comments and take it from there. Um, So in the the online course typically is $4.95, but we're offering it at $2.49. And you have to understand that it's to, an investment of yourself to really get the assessment that Joan was talking about, to really take a deep breath and say, who am I? What can I do? Um, where am I going? Really have almost like Weight Watchers of the employment world, a support system to be able to help you through this transition. And, and Probably and a I, little bit of a humbling experience, too. With, mm-hmm. Without a doubt. And the one thing that I do want to make sure that I mention, because it's very, very important, is that we've really gotten technology savvy. And our big concern about going from our brick and mortar, our classroom, to online online was that connection piece. And and what we've implemented into this online course is that we have a teleseminar. So every week when you're part of the online program, you're going to be part of a live teleseminar. So we're going to be keeping the people on track. You're going to have the community of people that are in the course with you at the same time. You're going to get to know them, their story, be able to learn from them. Because we've seen such great camaraderie that we didn't really want to lose that. And I wanted to make sure that I was still there kicking their butt saying, move to that (laughs) next level. Because to your point, Andrew, it is a very humbling experience. And it's a lot easier to blame your boss than it is to look in the mirror. So I want to make sure that that we say that, you know, it's got all the components of that of that intimacy while you're still being at your own pace and going through this expiration. And even if you wanted additional information, when you go to our website, there's uh, two specific ways to get information about career reform. One is the what now 
in, 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 if you want more information, you're at the point where you're like, what now? And then to our near and dear is we are here sta- taking a stance of fight for your career. And it's the whole career reform, fight for your independence, career independence um, way to get information. So there's many ways just to click the button to get information about Joan and about career reform. And the office telephone number once again, so for our listeners who wants to give you a call. 716-626-0070. Okay. Andre, any last minute parting parting comments? I'm just really excited about signing people up, getting them invested in this and invested in their futures again. You know, really being proactive and taking that charge of I need to redefine myself. I need to rethink. Yes. You know, there are so many aspects of us that we don't really integrate and put together and and then we are kind of left floundering at the very 11th hour if we lose our job why not do that in advance when we're still working i couldn't agree with you more and this is certainly a conversation we will have to pick up and continue with one 30 minute show is not enough but yes, buffalo tune sure. in next week we're going to be sharing with you the next time joan will be back on the yes. show and we'll be talking more <laughs> in depth about some of the great work that she's doing she's a wonderful pioneer here in west new york but now she's doing it on a national level Have a great week. We'll see you next Sunday. Thank you for listening to the Dale Martin Jobs and Business Report, sponsored in part by Sunbelt Network, the place to go buy or sell a business, Shatter IT, and other successful business partners. Tune in next Sunday at 10 a.m. to learn the very latest job and business news from around Western New York. Be sure to also listen to Dale's weekly feature on our sister station, WBEN, every Monday night between 7.15 and 7.30.